What's an MCL tear of the knee? In this video, I'm going to explain this common injury of the medial collateral ligament, how you tear it, and what treatment options exist that can help it heal so you can return to sports and exercise. I'm Dr. David Geyer, triple board certified orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. MCL injuries are extremely common, especially in contact and collision sports. It's thought to be actually one of the most common injuries that you suffer in a sport like soccer or football or maybe basketball. Basically, it's an injury of the medial collateral ligament, basically on the inside of the knee or the side closest to the midline. It's a big, thick ligament on the inside of your knee. And it typically is injured in a contact or collision sport with a blow to the outside of the knee that basically causes uh, what's called a valgus stress injuring that ligament. Or you're running, you plant your foot, or you go to change direction and you get something that opens up that MCL. Now, very, very often, if that's the only injury, there's no ACL or PCL tear, there's no meniscus tear, you don't need surgery. Typically, you're just waiting on that MCL, see if I can show it to you there, that MCL to hear, heal. Now, how long that takes to heal depends a little bit on where the injury is. So if it's up at, on the femur side, it tends to be very quick, one to two weeks. If it's down here on the tibia side, it can take longer, maybe four to six weeks. Sometimes if an, an isolated MCL injury doesn't heal and needs surgery, it's going to be one of the ones typically down here on the tibia. Now, in terms of ways to help that ligament heal a little more reliably, a lot of times what orthopedic surgeons will do they will we'll put you in a with a hinge knee brace, so basically a, a brace that uh, has these metal uh, devices on the side that let your knee flex and extend, bend backwards or forwards, but they don't allow any side to side motion. You can do it with a knee immobilizer, just the little felt things with the, uh, with the Velcro, but you want to get out of that as soon as possible and into something that lets your knee flex and extend so that it doesn't get stiff. There are even braces that have the metal struts on the side. You can get them from a number of different companies that potentially can allow you to play. But if that ligament isn't completely healed, that can even still be fairly tricky. Now, as far as uh, combined injuries, MCL plus ACL, MCL plus, plus meniscus tear, very often those need surgery. A lot of times you can leave the MCL component of that alone, but then you have to do the surgery for the ACL, have to do sur surgery for maybe the PCL or the meniscus, whatever it is. So that's where sometimes getting an MRI can be fairly helpful to know the exact extent of the injury. But having said that, a lot of times with an MCL injury, you can go to an orthopedic surgeon just by physical exam alone. They can tell you, yes, this is an MCL injury. But if they get an MRI, a lot of times they're looking to make sure there's not any other damage there. Now, as far as some of the conventional treatments, so many people ask me about you know, this is probably not something that necessarily needs regenerative treatments, maybe something like platelet rich plasma, or to a lesser extent, maybe exosomes that are, again, considered experimental by the FDA might help that MCL, that ligament heal a little bit quicker. It may be overkill, should heal on its own anyway. People sometimes ask about would peptides help? Something like BPC-157, which there's numbers of a number of different animal studies to show improved tendon and ligament healing. Maybe that would be faster. Again, it gets back to the question of if it's going to heal anyway, is that really necessary? Would something like a CJC-1295 or other growth hormone releasing peptides improve your muscle strength faster to then get back to sports and exercise? Yes, potentially that would be helpful. I've talked in a number of different videos on this channel. You can definitely check those out about whether it's exosomes or something like penicillin polysulfate or a variety of different peptides. Very often these are considered experimental by the FDA or you have to use them off label depending on what it is. So definitely check that out. I'm not necessarily promoting that or saying that's something you should do. I just want you to know 
a lot of what people are asking for, a lot of what people are looking for. And then again, as that ligament heals, then it's about getting back to sports and exercise. And that's where I think physical therapy with somebody that really knows sports rehab can be very, very effective. Learning how to land on it again, learning how to change directions on it again as that ligament is healing will help you get to your sport, help you get back to your exercise as quickly as possible. So I'd love to hear about your experience with your knee injury, whether it's an MCL or something else. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand, I can't offer you medical advice, but I will try to answer your question in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to my video channel, click the bell to be notified when I release a new video and when I start my next live stream, including my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. If you have knee, hip, shoulder, or some other joint pain, and you want to get significantly better in the next 30 days without cortisone shots, surgery, physical therapy, learn more about working with me in the description below this video. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.